Welcome back to Three Sisters here in Wigan. The next race up today is the Coma Cadet class for drivers from eight years of age. And one of the biggest teams in cadet karting in the last few years has been the Fusion Motorsport team. We're just making our way up here to uh, the Fusion Motorsport awning. We're going to try and catch up with Dan Hazelwood, the team manager, just to ask him about uh, the Coma Cadet class, the drivers he's got in the team this year, and what he's going to expect from the drivers. Just through these uh, very nice awning indeed here, the uh, Fusion Motorsport awning. And... Uh, is here Martin. Dan, can we get a quick uh, quick word with you? Oh, yeah. Dan, clearly Fusion Motorsport last few years has been almost certainly the biggest team in the Coma Cadet class. What are you hoping for this year? What drivers have you got in the team? What are you looking at? Uh, we've got several good drivers that have uh, returned from, um, from last year. Ollie York, Johnny Edgar, Lewis Thompson and some new drivers as well. Some that have moved up from the junior team like Owen Byatt. We've got uh, William Petit who's joined us for this year and Zachary Robertson. So we've got a full lineup and also the junior team as well. Tom Wood and Alex Quinn who are looking very strong this weekend. So yeah, we've got uh, a good number of good, good drivers this year. So looking, uh, looking quite promising. And the class from, for drivers from eight years of age. So anybody watching, any parents watching this thinking this is the sort of sport I think my kids would be interested in. Um, there's a lot of technology involved, isn't there? You, I know you're looking at the data here, the onboard footage. Uh, it's not just turn up. I mean, uh, people might be forgiven if they're, they're not around karting. I don't know much about it. I think it's just uh, a few bars and wheels and it's, it's all very simple, but it's quite complex, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely moved with the times. I mean, uh, we do a lot with the video, uh, with the uh, with the data as well. So, um, yeah, it, you know, it, there's a lot of technology. Um, we try and use all the resources available to us to try and obviously get an advantage. So, yeah, it's not quite as simple as turning up with a, with a van. Uh, with a trailer on the back and just jumping out in a cart, there's a lot that goes into it from the awning set up to the actual uh, data that we look at and uh, the, the depth that we go into with the drivers. So yeah, there, it does take a, a lot of time, a lot of effort, but you know, hopefully we get the reward as a result. Okay, I always like to put team managers right on the spot. Give me one name. I don't want you sitting on the fence with like three or four. Give me one name you think is going to win this class this year. Uh, over the year, I think um, I think uh, Oliver York's going to be be probably the best bet. Uh, certainly from our from our camp, um, he's the highest seeded driver. Uh, he's had a bit of un uh, bad luck yesterday, season engine, so he's got to come through from further back today. But I've got confidence that he can do that. We'll look out for him. Thanks. So here we go then for the Coma Cadet final. Quinn, Wood and York, the top three seats in the championship in the top three positions on the grid. Fantastic. Edgar is there in fourth position as well. He'll be a threat and still only nine years of age. Keep an eye out for William Petit and Alex McDade there as well with Sean Butcher and Sam Faulkner on row five. They could easily be a threat for this one as well. Here we go, a nice little chop there at the front of the race. Wood is your leader. Quinn and Edgar are side by side as they make their way through the first couple of corners. We're on board with Lewis Thompson in the S9. Oh, goodness me, Caden McQueen over the back of Maddie Easton there. Hopefully, yes, it looks like they've all got through okay. So uh, they sweep through the corners nicely together. And the racing is very close early on. But uh, out in front, we do have Tom Wood. Here comes the number five of York trying to make his way up the inside of Quinn. No such chance, mate. You're going to have to work harder than that if you want to move into second place this early on. We've got Fusion drivers first, second, third, fourth, fifth and seventh, I think, if I'm right. Just to explain to viewers the difference between cart number nine, Tom Wood there, and cart S9, carrying the onboard camera today, Lewis Thompson. If you see uh, any number, it's got an S in front, as we have with Lewis here. S9 means that Lewis finished ninth in last year's Super 1 uh, Coma Cadet Championship. The nine, the number nine of Tom Wood means that he finished ninth in last year's British Coma Cadet Championship, which was part of another series last year. This year, only Super One has the British and National Championship status. So I hope that uh, clarifies it for you. Out front is Tom Wood, the nine cart in behind, the seven cart of Alex Quinn and uh, Oliver York currently in third place, back on board with Thompson. Well, certainly the racing is getting fantastic out here and very much worthy of the British Championship. The S9 of Thompson closing up on the 25 of Tyler Chesterton, who's having a nice dice there with old Caldwell. So Ollie Caldwell having a bit of a fight there later on into the race. And this trio has pulled away at the front. 
And it looks like we've got a move. Yes, York is on the inside of Quinn there. And now he's had enough of sitting in third place. He wants to go for the lead. So up in a second place he goes. He checks behind him to see where the number seven is. But he's right on his tail. He doesn't need any further reminding of it. Pushing down the pit straight they go. This is really starting to intensify. Leading three drivers, all from Fusion Motorsport. In fact, the drivers there in uh, uh, fourth, fifth and sixth place, also from Fusion. So Fusion Motorsport here have been for a long time now, last few years, certainly one of the top teams, I think it's fair to say the top team in the Coma Cadet class, and they occupy the top six positions. Now, I think it's worth pointing out, Jake, as well, with what's happened recently in Formula One, that uh, although these drivers, let's look at these front three here, at the front of the field, there are no team orders in karting. The drivers pay the teams to be part of their team. It's very rare that you get teams giving drivers free drives and uh, making uh, drivers a number one, two and three, for example, in a team. So the team have no team orders. The drivers have got no team orders. Their only instruction, Dan Hazelwood will only issue these drivers with one instruction when they go out. Do not take each other off. That is the, the only instruction Dan will give his drivers. There are no team orders. Come first, second or third, I don't really care who wins. Just don't take, take each other off. Sebastian Vettel and Mark Webber could learn a trick or two from these guys out there on the circuit. A brilliant battle between these three teammates and who is going to get the best of it? York, Quinn and Wood side by side now but it's Quinn who makes the move. So Quinn is up there into the lead. Second place is Wood, York is third and it's very close indeed as they go down the valley and who's that uh, a lap behind? That's Brooke Childs in the 22 moves over and allows the leading trio through. Very, very close indeed between the leaders. Fortunately, it hasn't caused too much of a headache, although, well, dear, oh dear, Wood might tell you different because York has gained a place. And I think that all started by losing a tiny bit of momentum stuck behind the 22. And it looks like Tom Wood has gained an advantage from being in front. Uh, no, he's not quite in front, is he? But he's still able to get the 50.42, the fastest lap of the race. So I don't think we're done yet. No, Tom with the fastest lap of the race, but he's now down in third place. They come out onto Conroy Strait one more time. And th this is definitely a race between these three for the win, but assuming there's no contact between them. I think they're far too professional for that, even at the young age. Oliver York, probably the most experienced, and Dan mentioned earlier, well, in fact, I think there, to be fair, Oliver York's just given his teammate the win. I think that's given Alex Quinn the win because Oliver looks like he's decided that uh, he's going to defend. You see Tom Wood with both hands off the wheel there as if to say, you know, what's going on? He's come across, uh, Tom, a little bit of contact between them, but no real damage done. Certainly not sportsmanship between a teammate there, is it? He certainly decided to make his opinion felt. I want second place at least out of this. Back off, let me have it. <laughs> he was certainly going to make sure it happened. So out in front, number seven, Alex Quinn has got a nice little gap there. He looks behind. He doesn't look too panicked out there in the lead of this one. Last lap into the right hand up and we're getting a bit of a challenge now Tom Wood has decided actually Oliver I want to go for this one and that little chop has done nothing to put me off it York defends Wood attacks and Quinn looks like he could be handed victory on a plate here two cart lengths it doesn't seem like much but it could be the difference between first and second place here comes Wood round the outside what a move in this contact that was never going to work it was a very brave effort but York on the inside, he's holding that second place firmly. He looks back just to make sure his teammate's okay, but he's uh, quite determined. I want second place here. If I can't have first, I want the most points possible from this one. Second will have to do as they fly through Luna around the last corner. And as you can see, Quinn just looks behind him. Have I got enough of a space? Yes, fantastically done. Two arms in the air again, and he seems a little bit happy with that one. A bit of a battle across the line here between Fusion teammates in fourth through to sixth, and a very nice chop for the last four places in the top ten as well. So, great racing here at Three Sisters. Sophie caught up with the top three on the podium. Tom, you started second, finished third. What happened in your race? I got into the lead um, quite early on, and I led quite, um, quite a, loads of laps of the race and uh, I just got pipped really at the last few laps but I'd like to say thank you to Arden Motorsport, um, Donington Park, Explore It, Otium and my mum and dad for supporting me. Oliver, second in the first race of the season, how was it for you? 
Yeah, good, thank you very much. Uh, we At the start of the race, um, me, Alex and Tom managed to get a big gap. Uh, so we were pushing um, all the way through and then like I overtook um, Alex. So then that made me second. So then we pushed all the way to the end and I overtook Tom. And then we, we were both battling and then Alex managed to get through down the straight. And um, after that, uh, me and Tom were having a little battle. So then that made uh, Alex get away and he did a very good race and well done to Alex. Me, Ollie and... Tom got off to a really good start. We filled a big gap, and then uh, I was about second in that that train. And um, coming on to the e near nearer the end, Ollie passed me, and then uh, just they started battling a bit, and I just took them both. So a lucky victory, and a very well well worked both of them too as well. So I just like to thank Dan Hart at Fusion Motorsport and all my sponsors, so thank you very much. So if 160 is the maximum you can score, Alex Quinn's not done too bad, just two off that. 10 points ahead of Tom Wood and 18 ahead of Johnny Edgar. Should point out, despite two podiums in both finals, Oliver York is not in the top six because this year you scored points in heats and finals. And because of an engine seize earlier on, he's not in the top six yet. I'm sure he will be later in the year. More action to come from Three Sisters. We'll be right back.